What's going on, my second grade all-stars? Welcome back to another math lesson. And like always, guys, listen, you guys are showing up and you're crushing it and you're growing your brains and you're doing some amazing things. So keep getting after it and we're super proud of you. Now, last week we talked about centimeters and meters. We're talking about measuring things. This week, we're switching over to what we use in our country the most. And it's inches, feet, and yards. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to start off, we're going to watch a little music video about inches, feet, and yards, and then we're going to do a little bit of PowerPoint. So I'm going to switch you over, I'm going to share my screen, guys, and we're going to dive right in to inches, feet, and yards. We are the women and men. is what you got if you're looking at the top of a bottle of pop on your thumb is about one inch from your knuckle to your fingertip we are the women and men of measurement if there's a distance we find the length of it the length of where your work is put measures out to just one foot you'll find a foot if you look at the height of the parrot on my hook Yar. a football field has 100 marks each one is a yard apart at the plate with a softball bat a yard is about what you're looking at open your fingers up pitch and make an inch then make your hands look just like a foot, put them three times as far and make a yard. Now we know how long they are. We are the women and men of measurement. If there's a distance, we find the length of All right, boys and girls. So that was just a little bit of introduction to inches, feet, and yards. So we're gonna dive in here. Now an inch, just like it talked about in the video, when we look at the inch, it is about the size of a bottle cap, top of a, a drink, or from your knuckle to your thumb. Hold up your knuckle and your thumb right now. All right, look at it real co uh, closely. That is about one inch. Or if you took a quarter and measured the diameter across it, you would find that that quarter is about one inch in length. And the abbreviation for inch, boys and girls, is I-N. Now, when we're measuring, we're also going into feet. All right? So one foot, the abbreviation FT for feet, is about the length of a book. All right? If you had a hardcover book, it'd be about one foot long. And it's important that we know that one foot, all right, this is a ruler, most rulers are one foot long, is equal to 12 inches. So one foot equals 12 inches. And then the yard, boys and girls. One yard is equal to three feet or 36 inches. Now a yard, if we look at a baseball bat, it's almost baseball season, and a lot of you boys and girls might have it lying, a baseball bat lying around the house. If you pick that bat up, that's gonna be about one yard long. It's gonna be about three feet or 36 inches long. Here's a yard stick, and a yard stick is the same as three rulers. Each ruler being 12 inches long, or one foot, so we see the three feet, or 12 inches, so 12, 24, 36 inches long. Now, just like we talked about last week, when we work with rulers, my friends, you have to be super careful. You have to be a detective. 
and you have to pay attention to the markings on the ruler because you want to make sure you don't want to be measuring things in inches and then later find out that you are actually using the centimeter side. So we look at this ruler up top. Now this one didn't label the inches, but look at it carefully, guys. We said inches are much bigger than a centimeter. About a little over two and a half centimeters make up an inch. So I see down below, look at the lines here. There's a lot more of them. Plus, when I look at the bottom, it says CM right there. That tells me this side's the centimeter side. So I know up top is the inches. Now down here, we see it's labeled. All right, the inches and centimeters are labeled as well. And we also see here's one inch. And we go down, look at all the centimeters that make up one inch. Second point, my friends. Remember what we talked about last week. Each ruler is a little bit different. So you have to be careful and you have to pay attention. This ruler doesn't have a zero on it. So we're gonna start right at the edge. We're gonna start right at the edge right here. When we look at this ruler right here, look at it how it starts at zero. This is my starting point. Each ruler might be a little bit different, so you really have to pay attention. Does it have a starting point marked on your ruler, or does it start right at the edge of the ruler? Because that will affect your measurements. All right, let's dive in, let's measure a little bit. Here we go with these scissors. Well, I won't line up my scissor with the zero, the one end. This is an end point. The points that we measure called the end point. So I measure one end point, line it right up with the zero, and we come here, and as I look straight down, what do you think it is? What do you think it is as I come straight down? If you said four inches, let's go. Let's go to the next one. All right, a paper clip. We want to measure this paper clip in inches. So I go and I measure, and I see here, I have it at the one and four, four inches long. Am I correct? If you were saying right now, no, you're right. Listen, guys, look at where I started. We said also, this is a mistake that I see all the time. Boys and girls, when they're measuring, you start at the one inch mark. We don't, what mark do we wanna start at? Where's our starting point on a ruler? At the zero inches, correct? So watch what happens if I said this paper clip was four inches long when I started at the one inch. But when I start at zero, like we're supposed to, we find out that paper clip isn't four inches long, but it is approximately, almost three inches long. So we really have to pay attention to starting at the zero. All right, here we go, my friends. Let's get a little challenge going. This cramp. Look at this cramp from end point to end point. How long is this cramp? What I want you to do is say it out loud. Now, if you just say the number, that's not incorrect. Remember, we said you have to talk about the unit that you measure by. And if you said, boys and girls, that the measurement was five inches long, you are correct. Remember, we need to mark the unit. Have to mark the unit. Big difference between five centimeters and five inches. Last one. Look at this little lizard right here. How long is this lizard measured from end point to end point, boys and girls? And if you said two inches long, you are correct. Let's just bump it out. Good work, good work. Okay, boys and girls. So that was just a little quick dive into using inches, feet, and yards with a real big focus on inches. So what I want you to do is look to see if you have a ruler or a measuring tape or a yardstick around the house. Take that and measure different things around the house. Get experience using those tools. Get experience using that measuring tape or that ruler, all right? And then my friends, uh, Freckle or the Mass Spiral Review, whatever your teachers left for you. As always guys, so proud of you boys and girls. Keep rocking it, keep growing those brains, 
and keep doing amazing things. So keep smiling, keep shining, and keep being the all-stars that you boys and girls are. We'll talk to you later.